And some want to ask this government. We are not tired for breach constitution. We are breach the constitution of Jamaica how much ten times and lose in court. And now we come back come breach the constitution of the Jamaica Teachers Association. Bless up my people, welcome back to the channel. So in this one, my people, the government of Jamaica is caught in a lawsuit via the Jamaica Teachers Association from a former president, Lassandra Harrison, for breaching the JTA's constitution, my people, where they had, you know, the teachers voted online on a virtual meeting to accept a 20% wage increase for a three-year period. And some people see the article floating around and me about to read some of it so they can get a better understanding of what the breach of the JTA constitution is really about. So since last Wednesday, my people, the former Jamaica Teachers Association President Lassandra Harrison filed a lawsuit against the government for virtual special delegates vote held last year march to accept the wage offer presented by the ministry of finance and public service which was a breach of section 14 of jamaica teachers constitution that explicitly states that voting must be carried out by the assembly of delegates at a physical location and not virtually so no online voting must never be done according to the constitution so the delegates can only vote with their physical presence by a show of hand or where secret ballots are permitted. And so the former president, Lassandra, who is the claimant, therefore contends that the acceptance of the present salary package given to members of the JTA is void on the basis that the JTA was not properly constituted in carrying out the vote to accept the government's offer. She acknowledged in the lawsuit that it was her proposal for the conference to be convened online but said this was based on advice from the Secretariat that online meetings and conferences was a practice throughout the whole COVID-19 pandemic. The lawsuit was filed in the Supreme Court by the law firm Hugh Wildman and Company that seeks five declarations including an order that the voting that took place during the special delegates conference on March 12, 2023 was unlawful because it was not in keeping with the constitution of the JTA. Approximately 80% of the delegates who were present voted to accept the three-year agreement which became effective April 1st, 2023 and it includes a guaranteed 20% minimum increase in basic salary after tax deductions. Harrison raised eyebrows at the time when she walked out of the contract signing ceremony at the Finance Ministry's downtown Kingston office, leaving other members of the JTA executive to sign. However, a legal victory for Harrison could present a dilemma for over 30,000 teachers, including the former JTA president, who have already received billions of dollars in salary and retroactive payments under the New Wage Pact, one veteran educator opined. And just to add, following Harrison's storming out of the virtual meeting, so to speak, and leaving the others to sign my people, she said that she alerted the JTA Secretary General, Dr. Mark Nicely, of the irregularity and followed up with an email dated March 31st, 2023. She said nicely responded via email the same day, but details of his response were not included in the affidavit filed in this lawsuit. And so I want to ask a question before me elaborate too much on this, my people. Due to the fact that it, there was a pandemic, I could understand the virtual meetings. But last year, when they basically pressured them to accept this 20% wage increase, increase over the three-year period, why wasn't a in-person or physical meeting held to have that vote according to the Jamaica Teachers Association constitution? 
right? It could have been hell because last year there was no rampant pandemic, right? So it could have been hell. So they rushed the teachers to basically accept this 20%. And right after that, my people, they gave themselves 200 and 300% increase. What a heights of wickedness. And someone to ask this government, we are not tired for breach constitution. We are breach the constitution of Jamaica how much 10 times and lose in court. And now we come back, come breach the constitution of the Jamaica Teachers Association. Right? They can afford to pay the teachers a decent salary so we teachers them to leave and go other countries. Right? They can afford. When this government take up and pay for two unoccupied buildings, over 400 and had million dollars over a three year period, and to retrofit one of that very same building costing over a billion of Jamaica's taxpayers' money. When the Cornwall Regional Hospital was supposed to take two billion to be fixed up, refurbished, it's over 20 something billion dollars and still not completed. Our teachers are vital. Our teachers are very important. And so I do believe that they deserve good livable wages. When the very same minister who forced the teachers to vote online, pay for insurance that only pays out, it seems, if Jamaica is basically flat and we can only see nails on the floor for them to get a payout, they could afford to pay the teachers. When millions and billions have been spent and cannot be accounted for with any form of signing off on when millions and billions go missing without a trace, then they could afford to pay the teachers. And not just the teachers, all essential workers good livable wages. All know me not hear nothing about the rank and file them getting them overtime. But they could afford to put a chairman of the federation who stood up for the rank and files on interdiction cut him pay. Still not sure when he'll be reinstated. They're fighting it at every cost. And the rank and files are the one out there. Risking their lives on or off duty, the mafia watch them head. And the government took 200 to 300% wage increase. Right? Half of them not doing any work to get that type of increase and the justification behind it makes no sense. But I'm going to take to the comment section of the article, my people, and I'm going to read out two of the comments then when we see a person says, it seems like the burden of the teaching profession start this. This agreement is most evil. It reduced teachers' years of service and the graduate allowance moved from $11,000 to $7,000. How comes? Nigel Clark, Andrew Oles, the entire JLP, Doran Dixon, Clayton Hall, Mark Nicely, and Leighton Johnson will pay dearly for the mashing up of the teaching profession. God is not sleeping. The tears of teachers will be on them and their children's generation. They all know it was wrong. Another person agreed with the first comment and says, Correct, them deserve to be sued because they could have taken a much easier route and do a wage freeze on a public service if it's the true reductions should never be an option. Simply just freeze it where it was and everything would be much better. And so while this government boasts of them giving out the largest you know, salary reform. This government is the government where most 
professions and sectors have been restive. You understand? Majority of the salary reform went to the politicians. So that's why they can boast. But I want to hear from one of my people drop on the two cents in the comment section and tell me if this is a good move by the former JTA president, Lassandra Harris, in suing the government for a breach of the JTA constitution. The current JTA president, Mr. Leighton Johnson, had no comments, but he said that he was aware of the lawsuit. And so we are waiting to hear what the um, result of this lawsuit will, will be so stay tuned my people don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel run go over to my other platform facebook tiktok follow me over there at anisabel rose check out the youtube store make a purchase it goes in support of the channel check out the youtube membership you get a lot of benefits by becoming a member returning subscribers big up on yourself thanks for the continued support new subscribers welcome on board thanks for the support New viewers, come on board, journey with me, join the family, like up the video, share out the video, subscribe to the channel. Support the ABR movement by playing your part. As an accompany video space, please to like and share. Stay tuned for more videos, stay tuned for more updates. Big up on yourself.